up until Ronaldo scored right after the, the start of the second half, this was Bayern for me. I was, I was trying to figure out how Real Madrid were going to get themselves into this game. And from the goal for the rest of the game, obviously Martinez getting sent off a little later completely kills them. But this was an absolute classic performance, a classic away European performance. Once they scored, they kept the ball, they pinned Bayern in, and as I said, 10 men, mm. that was it, it was done. And Bayern are lucky, they're only one behind. Well, they are in the lucky because because Neuer was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but they also can look to themselves. They got the opportunity with a penalty kick. They didn't take it. That would have made it 2-0. That changes the whole mindset. Then the Martinez sending off, which was crazy. And then after that, I thought they were just going to say, right, OK, 10 men. We're just going to sit in, soak it up and take the draw to the Bernabeu. But they continued to play a little bit open for a period. And it just handed the initiative to Real Madrid. But I don't think it's over. I really think Bayern, if they get Hummels back, depend, depending on fitness, if Lewandowski comes back, which you think they will, I do think they can go to the Bernabeu and win. I, I thought Real were outstanding. Even before before the opening Bayern Munich goal, you saw the chance from Karim Benzema, good save by, by Manuel Neuer, and they had spells. And this is in the first leg away from home where you expect them to be a little bit defensive. Then Bayern get the goal and you're expecting them to put some distance between themselves and, and Real, but that, that wasn't the case. And in the end, Two wanted to Real flatters Bayern Munich immensely. I, I just thought Real were, were that good, Bayern were that disappointing, but maybe the two players coming in gives them a, a glimmer of hope in the, in the second leg. Uh, let's bring uh, Rafael Onigstein mm. uh, into the conversation, shall we? Raf, with your Bayern goggles on, what do you make of that? Well, Bayern self-destructed, really, in the second half. First, you consider that goal after 90 seconds, then... Martinez gets sent off 10 minutes later and that, then it's basically game over. I mean, they can, if they can still defend a lot better than they did and uh, there was no excuse for, I think, being devoid of any real structure, any real game plan. There was very little from Ancelotti at that point. And uh, in the end, as all the boys said in the studio, Bayern extremely lucky that it was only 2-1 because it could have easily been 3 or 4 or another really embarrassing score down like the 4-0 four, uh, four years ago. So Bayern still have a chance with Lewandowski coming back, but I mean, this was as poor as Bayern have played in, in a long, long time and uh, the worst possible time to do it because Real Madrid were, were wonderful even when they didn't have the ball. They had a calmness, mm. a coolness, a kind of imperial uh, nature of playing, which was just fantastic. Ralph, can I ask you a question? When, when Bayern go down to 10 men, I thought that, I thought the Bayern crowd disappeared. I was expecting the opposite. Surely you get behind your team. Are, are the Bayern fans all, have they been spoiled for so many years that when things are not going for them, they just stand there and don't do anything? Because I, I felt as though they didn't make an atmosphere for, the, for, the, for their, their own team. Yeah, well, I mean, Bayern crowds have been spoiled for, for 40 years probably and they're not the most hostile crowds to go to. Against Real Madrid, it's usually different though. There is a bit of emotion, a bit of needle. I think they tried to pick up the team but the team didn't give them much by way of return and I think that was the problem you could sense that everybody was kind of looking at each other a lot of stray passes and that lack of structure I think shocked people it was shocking to see I think for the home crowd a Bayern team that fell apart they hadn't seen that for so long that I think they didn't know how to handle it 